But I can I can take uh, so these are MNI space coordinates, right? Who said those? In the in the file. Okay, so I need the MNI. So we need right? MNI. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for. So where's that? Where's that? What was I? So I I usually just copy and paste it because it was forget. There's so many ways to read in the. Uh, okay, just do the one. Right, so many ways to read in data, and some that are better than that one. They're not created equal. Mm -hmm. This one should work. It's comma separated. Right. So, oh, it's so fun when I have to name variables. I think it's, it's space separated. No, I don't care. I, mean, I really don't care. Anyway. You're, you're looking at the least judgmental program oh, on the face of the planet. So. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get it done, get it done quickly. Yeah. So, um, but it is, it is space separated, I believe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> DLM read is good. How do you read? Yes, uh, I should just. It is space. Okay, I mean, you do have to speak space separated. Uh, doing. This match with violent form is right. Is it because of this? Violent form is right. I presume. Yeah. I'm curious. We're going to try to reach another team that called upstairs. I mean, it's a little. I'm not going to have this on sports days, per se. So I called your office and they tried to clear some of the violent form. Is it because it's not yet a person upstairs? Okay. Oh, he doesn't think he's going to be so on time. Oh, okay. Okay. He doesn't really have anything after him. So, yeah. 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 So just to leave some labels. What did you have figure it problem that I don't think how to do this. Here's and how to do that. Okay. Right? Okay. How to do that. Well, let, me, let me just copy. Let me yeah. now just copy and paste this. Uh, yeah. Monday uh, early afternoon. Mm -hmm. I wonder why it would add that component. It might be that. Anyway. So this would have to be so self format. Right, like it's not it's not in the same place or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You feel you know, feel free to leave. Yeah, what it looks like. Thank you. So input. Yep. You see, just it's false multiple in there. So now we want to get coordinates for the spheres and giant spheres. For the for the spheres, I will have to. Is anyone plot them? That is true. Right. I suppose there's a. I think there's a. Oh, there's a sphere. <laughs> So how did you not? <laughs> 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 yeah. Because I was like, join this here. So all I can do now for that yeah, is I, just uh, so I'm using I'm using and I'm using so in order to make a point. Um, so we have to we obviously have to get an MNI one. Yeah. Are dependent upon. Okay, so let's, let's get the brain first. Let's get the brain first. Yeah, get the good M and I brain. So in, if you have FSL installed there, you can just go into your user share FSL data directory, and that would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think here's some local actually. It's a local. Yep. Data. 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 Standard. Uh, let's do and I will know maybe. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. nice oh, yeah. It'll take a little long. Not the nice. Yeah. 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 So, 
Yeah, this might look not as nice as the rendering that we, I have from the other program because that's a surface rendering, so we might want to substitute with that. Oh, this one, it will, this will actually, I have <coughs> two ways of doing things. Uh, the one okay. for the glass grain, mm -hmm. I just render a surface. Okay, I just, uh, let's, see, let's take a so look yes. at what it looks like and yeah. then I'll judge. So then I'll, basically, I'll decide whether yeah, I like exactly. it or not. So yes. I'm using this toolbox, it's actually uh -huh. a free surfer that comes with free surfer. Okay. You have to add this toolbox into MATLAB's. Okay. Where, so, where, where is the location? As long as you have, on our thing is. Okay, as long as you have, you know, if you have research installed, yes. um, it should work. Free surfer map lab. There's one place. Let me see. It should be. That's my toolbox. I just copy paste it there. I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's pretty much it's in the root of FreeSurfer, where it's in the root of this. I'll ask you if I can't find it. I mean, don't it? Yeah. I mean, it's FreeSurfer, now, but I can just send it over. I hope, I, as you can see, I have a few too many copies of the archive sent over. <laughs> so, okay, you import it this way. Uh -huh. It takes a little while to paint on the size, but usually it takes a little while. Oh, that's, okay. that's MRI. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know okay so you don't you have that one. And now, to render the yes. grain, mm -hmm. Kind of looks a little messy, but it's really this only this command. Okay. The first thing you plug in a you know brain is a structure, and there's a dot volume. That's the actual volume that you want to render. Uh -huh. So if you want to you know, specifically, where does that structure come from? From MRV. oh, from MRV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the way it's important. Okay. So, okay. so in order to address the actual volume, you have to type in this way. So then you can use this as an input. Uh, right here, it, since it's three-dimensional, you yeah, can just get rid of that. But when you're using functional, you can also use a functional mm -hmm. slice or something. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I need to double-check exactly what it means, but this really regulates the smoothness.